I want to share a story with you. This is about the public health care system in Ecuador, the IESS. And I want to share a particular story about an individual. I'm not going to mention any names. Uh, many of you probably will know who I'm talking about, but I have a very good friend who was put in the cancer hospital in Soka Hospital. The Soka is the name of the hospital in Puerto Viejo. And he was he his insurance was IESS, the government insurance program, and he was put in this hospital to have his kidney removed. Uh, that was July 19th. So just to give you a little background, before he went in for his surgery, he'd been, he'd had his surgery postponed four times before, uh, mainly because of his general health condition. He was not really suitable for having uh, that type of surgery done. He needed to lose a little weight, had to get some diabetes under control, had to get his blood pressure under control. He had to get a lot of stuff fixed before they would do the surgery on him. They, they finally came to a point where it was uh, now or never. If they hadn't at least done the surgery, he would have just probably died at home. So anyway, they did the surgery on him. The surgery was successful. They removed his kidney. It had a tumor in it. It was a malignant tumor, but it didn't spread. So he was, you know, in good shape as far as the surgery was concerned. But then, even a few days after his surgery, he and I actually talked on the phone about, kind of made some tentative arrangements to bring him home uh, to Monta. He, uh, the next day, the therapist came in to start uh, working with him to help him get out of bed, and he had a heart attack while he was doing that. And he had convulsions and he had seizures, and they had to intubate him and put him in ICU. They gave him tremendous care in taking care of him. So to fast forward, it has now been, he has been in ICU all of this time, 29 weeks, I guess, maybe 30 weeks. Since July 19th, he's been in ICU, struggling to be able to breathe on his own, getting, uh, I'm not gonna say too much negative about it, but in my opinion, he got minimal health care. He, uh, they, they worked with him. I, I, I do, I, I have to give the doctors credit for the efforts that they put into getting him rehabilitated and out of ICU. Since then, he's basically, he's, he's, they, the, the doctors there have now uh, instructed his caregiver which is his girlfriend that he to take him home. And he still has a little bit of trouble breathing, but he worse than that, he can't even stand up. He can't get up. He can't get out of bed. He's been in his bed for all these weeks. Bed sores been intubated, extubated, intubated, extubated. They've they've had they've got him now to where he's off of the ventilator and he's just breathing oxygen but they want him to go home and in my opinion he's going to go home and just die because he's not going to get the care at his home that he can get in a hospital efforts to get him into an IESS hospital in Monta 
I guess it would have been futile. I don't know to what extent uh, his caregiver has gone through to get him uh, into a care facility in Monta, but apparently it hasn't been very successful. And they just, the way it looks right now, he has to go home. And I don't know how he's going to pull this off. I don't know how he's going to, I don't know how they're even going to get him in this little tiny, about four, four foot by four foot square lift that they call an elevator. They're going to have to get this big guy in a, on a gurney or in a wheelchair or something up that lift and into his apartment where he has no air conditioning. He, the way things look right now, he won't have any nursing care. He won't have any medical help whatsoever that we know of. And to me, this is, this is a, not a good reflection of the public health care system in Ecuador. I do know that the president has announced that they have no money. The, the hospital that he's been in all this time closes on Saturday and Sunday. The hospital that he's been in all this time requires a family member to be with him not so much while he's in ICU, but they, somebody had to be there to go and get medicine for him when they need it. The hospital uh, they couldn't even supply him with water. We had to go and get water and take it to him. His caregiver has had to go all over the place rounding up medicine and to, to give him because the hospital doesn't have it. I don't, as many of you know, I don't give advice, but I'm going to break away from that rule today, and I'm going to advise you that if you come to Ecuador and you want to be in the healthcare system, I advise you to buy private insurance. Now, granted, there is a disadvantage to having private insurance. In most cases, you had to make arrangements to pay for your care and then wait to get reimbursed. That sucks, but that's South American insurance, Ecuadorian insurance. That's the way it is, folks. It's not like it is in North America. So, I know people that have said IESS is a wonderful thing, but as it stands today, IESS has no money. They owed, when, when my friend was put in the hospital back in July, the big news around Puerto Viejo was that IESS finally paid SOCA something like a $45 million debt. And yet, and I've, I've seen construction go on there where they built a new ICU and they've added offices and I've seen new construction work being done there yet they still have to close on Saturdays and Sundays because they can't afford to staff the medical professionals, the doctors and nurses, to work on the weekend. So that's the way it is. That's what you get when you come to Ecuador and you get on the public health care system. Please, be prepared to buy your own private insurance so you can have better care. I, it's so bizarre to me that you, you, if you take a patient to the hospital, you had to be able to take water to him. I had to go buy ace bandages for this guy. The hospital wanted to wrap his legs, and they, because they put treatment on him for the swelling in his legs, and he had sores, and so they needed an ace bandage to wrap around his legs. I had to go to a pharmacy and find him for him. So. Yeah, it's kind of sucks, but that's, I'm telling you the truth, folks. I'm sure they're, I'm going to get some feedback on this one. I know that some people are going to come back and tell me that ISS is wonderful. And if it was for you, then that's great. That's, I'm, I'm happy for you. But I'm telling you about my friend 
my friend is probably going to go home and die. And I blame it on the health care system in Ecuador. I blame it on the free, the government health care system. It's not really free. He paid like $81 a month for it. But, and there are millions of people that pay into that system, but they can't do better than that. They, they just can't. Hopefully, under the new administration and after we, the state of emergency is over with, the president gets the chance to really do an overhaul in this country. Something will be done about this. But in the meantime, I think my friend is probably going to pass away. So, sorry for the negative news. Sorry for, you know, the, all the negativity. I try to be as positive as I can in every one of my videos. But sometimes I have to just tell it like it is. And I know that some of you may be discouraged by this. The way I work around it, I have private insurance and I have enough money in my nest egg that if I have to uh, have something major done, I can afford to have it fixed and then hopefully get, a re re get refunded. Or I'll just have to go back to North America and let the VA take care of me, but that's my story. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. I want, I want, I want you to know what you are getting into when you come to this country. And this is one of the things. Healthcare is going to be uh, a bit of a challenge in some regards, but in other regards, it's so much better than the United States. Where else can you get a doctor to come to your house? with just a simple WhatsApp call. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching this channel and subscribing. And, th and if you like this video, which I don't really expect you to, but if you do, smash that thumbs up button. If you don't like it, well, in this case, I can't blame you. So uh, I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.